Hey guys, this is Jack of Jamaline.ph and welcome back to my channel and today uh, we're gonna do an unboxing and a setup uh, of this really cool device. So just uh, before the unboxing, let's talk about why uh, do I want this device. Well first, uh, I have a lot of videos, I need to back them up. I have a lot of games, I also need to back them up. I have a lot of files that I need to back up. and. I'm looking for something that is more reliable, something that can, um, you know, be flexible about when it comes to storage. I can do RAID and a lot of things, and I want something that I can access anywhere. And this is why I got this one. So this is the Synology Disk Station DS920 Plus NAS. It's like having your own Dropbox or having your own Google Drive at your home. Basically, I can save my videos my media files, my documents, and everything on this disk station DS920 Plus. So it is an upgrade from the previous generation as we got here a better Celeron um, J4125 CPU inside. It comes with a DDR4 RAM. This one comes with a 4 gigs of RAM. It can go up to 8 gigs. Uh, we also got here 4 slots for SATA HDD or SSD. It's um, compatible with 3.5 or 2.5 uh, hard disk. We also got here a um, slot for an NVMe SSD if you have um, an extra NVMe SSD lying out there. We also got here a 1GB Ethernet port, uh, USB 3.0, an eSATA port, and um, a lot more. So this is my first NAS actually, so I'm, pre I'm pretty interested. Uh, with what I'm getting from Synology. Of course, I also got here the Western Digital WD uh, Red um, hard disk. So this one is a separate purchase. I was actually eyeing for the Seagate Iron Wolf, but unfortunately, there's no stock for that one. It's really hard to look for a stock right now for any PC parts. So yeah, uh, what are we waiting for? So uh, let's do a, a um, unboxing of uh, the Synology Disk Station DS920+. Plus. Okay, so I'm really curious about this one. We're gonna place the WD red on the sides first. Okay, so first, nice. We got here the Ethernet ports. We got two Ethernet, uh, sorry, Ethernet cables. Uh, it's compatible with the one gigabits per second of uh, the Synology. We also got here some screws. I think this is a keychain or, so, or key uh, that we will need to use to open the NAS later on. Of course, we got here the power brick, quick installation guide. We also got this one for the plug uh, on the power brick. Whew. So finally, I got here the DS920 Plus. All right, so you're looking at uh, the Synology DS920 Plus. Um, this one looks like a PC, but it's not. So as you can see in here, we got four bays for uh, different uh, hard disk. The one that I got is the four terabyte. I'm planning to add more in the future, but right now I'm just gonna use a single four terabyte WD Red hard disk. And yes, you can do RAID on this one. Basically with RAID, you could have a single drive on multiple hard disks that is installed on this one. For example, you got here 16 terabytes uh, or four, four terabytes um, hard disk inside. Basically, you can make it into one with RAID and uh, it's more efficient if you wanted to and I actually want to have a RAID setup soon. Um, if, you know, I can upgrade my uh, setup soon if I can buy another four terabyte um, hard disk. So we got here, of course, the power button. We also got here the USB 3.0. Of course, we got here the LED lights for the disc 1, 2, and 3, and 4. Of course, the status over here. And on the side, we got here the Synology logo. The back, we got here the two fans because yes, it does heat up. And we also got here another USB 3.0 port. You can also add a Kensington lock at the back of the um, this station DS920 Plus. We also got here two Ethernet ports and the uh, eSATA port over here. We also got here the DC in 12 volts below. Remember these? Yeah, we need these ones to uh, open the uh, base for the hard disk. So yes, all I need to do is to 
rotate it just like a key there we go this is where we will place our hard disk later and of course we will screw it up over here so you know it won't fall off and yes i will just take out all the base in here so you can see what's inside so we got four um hard disk uh, that we can bring on this one so inside you can see in here that uh, we got here the board inside that is where uh, the hard disk will be docked and on the side I'm not sure if you can see that clearly we got here the RAM expansion slot memory and below you can see the two slots for the SSD but right now I only have a single WD 4 terabyte um, hard disk so yeah I'm gonna place this one over at my Synology setup so we got here a WD Red um, 4 terabyte hard disk. We also got here uh, one of the base for the hard drive. It's actually pretty easy to install a 3.5 uh, hard drive on this one. So I've already removed the side panels or the side thingies uh, at the side of this uh, drive bay. All I need to do is to place the hard disk like this, like this, like this, this and uh, place these panels on the side like this one and it will just automatically snap on the hard disk i'm going to place this one over on the other side and this will automatically secure your hard drive on the bay as you can see this one is pretty solid after that i just need to place the bay with the hard drive on the synology hard disk it will just snap and it's done it's already here of course you still need this one to lock this one up so you'll be sure that this one is uh, safely placed on the hard disk and in case you drop this one um, the hard drive won't fall off from the Synology DS920 Plus there we go and in case you want to replace your hard drive in case there are some problems on your hard drive it's actually pretty easy all you need to do is use this one unlock it and just like that you can already replace your uh, broken or something something hard drive that you want to replace on your Synology DS920 Plus. So you have seen our setup for the Synology DS920 Plus. You're probably curious about the setup on how this one will work. So yes, um, let me show you uh, my setup for my Synology DS920 Plus. So first, open the play store and search for the application called ds finder and of course after uh, you find it you install it and uh, wait for it after installing the application you need to open the ds finder app and yes you need to set it up you need to sign up for a synology account input your details and everything that you need and of course i will um, skip this one out and after that, you need to agree to the terms and conditions and everything. And there we go. You can now set up your Synology NAS device directly from your smartphone. The uh, application automatically detects the uh, DS920 Plus that we have set up earlier. Of course, we need to install it and agree to everything. And there we go. We can now set up the device. Of course, you need to wait for this one. So after that, um, this one is already ready for use. So this may take a while, but after this loading, you need to set up your, um, you need to log in your account and password and also the links and the other things that you need to input. And you can already create your uh, account or log in your account rather on the Synology uh, NAS. After connecting to the DS920 Plus, you can already see that of course you need to submit help us improve something something those are the things you won't probably read but um, once you've set it up it's ready to go you can download other applications such as the drive moments and ds audio so you can utilize and optimize the features that the ds920 plus has to offer so you have seen how i set up the synology nas drive using just 
my smartphone so all i need to uh, download is a single application and i can already set up the synology nas drive but of course you can also set up your synology nas drive on your desktop and in my case i have a windows pc over here and we're gonna check out my synology nas drive i'm gonna back up some files and let's see the environment that we can see on the synology nas drive that i got here right now so i've downloaded an application at the synology website it's the synology assistant application and it lets me see the nas drives that are connected to my local network so i can already see here the ds920 plus and um you can um see right now the environment for the synology uh, nas drive the ds920 plus so it's like an operating system for the for those people who are not familiar with this one and it's actually pretty easy so let me just show you some of the cool uh features that we can check out on this one so first we got here the package center which is basically like the app store for uh the synology nas drive so we got here the active backup business backup suite um for the 365 central management system a cloud sync and uh, a lot more we got here hyper backup so there's a lot of things that you can do on this one and of course since we got here a um, like an operating operating system like environment you can also download uh, media servers pdf viewers office moments so you can check out your photos directly uh on your nas drive to uh the browser of course we've got, also got here the uh, synology office which is probably one of my favorite so you could check out um your files on this one and open you know like the word files excel files that you back up on your synology nas drive and for those people who want to download you know other um games or other applications then you want to take advantage of your home server there are third-party applications just to give you an idea you can actually have your own minecraft server on the synology nas drive yes you can ha you can have your own minecraft server you don't need to pay anything all you need to do is to have your nas drive which is over here by the way you all, or you just need it uh to, you just need to turn it on of course 24 7 and you can play minecraft anytime anywhere as long as you got an internet connection and of course your synology nas drive Okay, so for starters, you can see in here the environment again. You can see in here that the Synology NAS is working right now. Uh, the uptime, the CPU, the RAM, and everything. And um, I'm going to show you how I back up my files on this one. So um, you can see in here that I got here the different folders. So I'm going to open Jamancheta. Here's my drive. I already have two of my files over here that are already um, uploaded to my drive. I also got here some music. So if I want to open a music, there we go. I can actually even play it on uh, the browser itself. So if I want to upload something, if I want to back up my files on something, actually I'm gonna open um, a window on uh, my file explorer on my Windows PC. And uh, I think I'm gonna back up something. Like for example, I think I need to back up some of my folders to my NAS drives, you know, just to create a backup. So I will uh, back up this thumbnail folder and upload it to my drive. So all I need to do is to drag and drop the files over here. And of course, overwrite. And as you can see in here, it's uploading to my NAS drive. I've connected my Synology DS920 Plus uh, to my router. Unfortunately, it's not uh, capable of one gigs. Uh, one gbps and um to take advantage of the fast speeds of this router it's better to have um you know a one gbps compatible router and of course a better connection to your pc i'm using right now a wireless or wi-fi connection to my router so you know the speeds are affected on that one if you want a better speeds um it's better to go uh LAN cable for that one and yeah you can already see in here um we're already of uh, the thumbnail is already um uploaded the thumbnail folders has been uploaded to the DS920 Plus. And as you can see in here, I can open the file in here. Check out the thumbnails. As you can see in here, there we go. We got here the thumbnails and everything. So yeah, it's already back up to my NAS drive. And of course, um, I can access it anytime and anywhere. So for example, I got here my DS Finder, the DS920 Plus. I'm going to open my um, Synology Drive application over here. We got here um, already, we already got here the thumbnails and as you can see in here, 
There we go. Oh, there we go. I can already access the files that are already saved on my server. And yes, I can access it anytime, anywhere if I have a mobile data on my smartphone as long as my Synology DS920 Plus is connected to my router and it's already turned on. You won't have any problems on this one. This is one is pretty cool. I have my own server. I can access it anytime, anywhere. So if I'm the, in the province, if I'm out there, you know, grocery, um, doing a lot of stuff outside my home, I can access my files anytime, anywhere. And the thing in here is that I have my own secured private server, which is really, really cool. So I guess that's it for our first part of the video here for the DS920 Plus of Synology. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now is the time to subscribe. So be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of my latest videos here at my YouTube channel. So once again, I'm John of John9.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again on my next video.